guys, Lee again, Ross Rod Shop. Today, we're gonna do a dingle ball rebuild on this thing. Uh, a friend of mine brought this to me and he wants it freshened up. Just, uh, he bought new pistons, rings, bearings, uh, all new gaskets, but it had over 200,000 miles on it. So he want, I'm gonna do a dingle ball hone on it. Uh, replace the Piston, I don't know why he wanted new pistons, but he wanted new pistons put in it. Um, so we've got rings, pistons, using the stock rods, stock push rods, uh, stock lifters, cam. Um, yeah, so I got the gasket kit here, oil pan valve covers, intake. Got everything laid out here on the table. And I'm gonna start uh, disassembling this, uh, then clean it up. I'm gonna pull the pistons out of it. I'm gonna dingle ball hone all the cylinders. All the, the cylinders don't look too bad. You look down in here, I mean, little ridge right there, but nothing. A uh, little bit of stuff right here on this one. He pulled one of the pistons out. I'm gonna have to polish the crank, polish the crank journals. Um, so yeah. He just wants it, it's a 5.7 out of a, it's a 5.7 Vortec engine out of a 98 Chevy Silverado. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what he wants done, that's what we're gonna do. So stick around. Okay, what I'm gonna get done first is I'm gonna go ahead and pull these uh, wishbones here and get the lifters pulled out. Just pull up on them roller lifters and we'll get them set to the side now i'll get the get it spun over and we'll start taking the uh the rod connecting rods apart so we can get the pistons out You can go ahead and look at the lifters. Everything looks fine. Check the rollers on them. Because we are reusing the lifters, we're gonna put them back in the same place where we took them out. engine over so we can go ahead and get the pistons out like he's put some tape on the oil pump. Covered that with a rag. Okay. Go ahead and get the oil pump off. Get this tray off. Man. Yeah, really gonna have to do some work on this right here. surface brush that's built up on it must have had it out in a damp place the whole time I've had it it's been inside my garage I've had it for a while
Get the whole pump out. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the pistons knocked out of it. We're replacing the piston, the actual pistons. We're using the same rods and we're replacing the bearings and the rings naturally. out take a look at our bearings <clears throat> there's a little bit of scarring but it's actually really not bad at all these I'll go ahead and get all these out and then we'll take a look at it when I'm done okay guys here we're here I'm here uh, getting ready to hone out these cylinders in this block uh, here's the cylinder walls in the block you can still see some cross hatching in there they don't look too bad I'm going to clean them up a little bit. I've got my hone here. My WD-40 there. Spray down the... Spray down the... Uh, stones on the hone. Spray down the cylinder wall. Set your hone down in there. Up and down. You don't want to go too fast. Keep it nice and lubricated up and down. like that and just take a cloth wipe it out and then take a look at the cylinder see how it looks nice cross hatching that's what you want then we move on to the next one okay I've got one of the new pistons pressed onto the rod here uh, the main thing is, you know, just want to make sure it works back and forth easily. And it does. Swings back and forth, slides back. Got it in the center. It's pretty much in the center there. So, uh, yeah, I'll get the rest of these pressed on there. And then we'll get them ready to go in the block. Um, I have been... 
honing the block. Again, this cylinder three right here is where the piston was stuck in it. This engine was stuck uh, and it was on this cylinder three right here. And I can still feel a little bit of an edge right there. Uh, so I'm gonna keep honing on that a little bit, see if I can get rid of that little edge. Everything else has got some really nice cross hatching. Uh, everything feels nice and smooth. I've sprayed it down with WD-40 so it won't rust. And uh, once I get that done and get these uh, new pistons put on the rods, we'll get it slid down in the engine. Uh, we're back out here on the 5.7 Vortec. I've already honed the cylinders. Now I'm gonna polish the crank. Uh, I've got some 800 grit paper and uh, just gonna put a little bit of WD on there. All the way across it. Wrap the paper around there. Pull it up and around. Get my string. Feed it through. Just cleaning up the crank journals before we put the new bearings on there. I'll do, I'll go over each journal with 800, then 1000, and then 1500 to get them clean. Then we'll just pull everything off. Take our cloth, wipe it. And then we'll do that again with, uh, I'll do that again with uh, 1,000 grit and 1,500 grit. And then them journal, I'll do all four journals and then they'll all be ready. Okay, I've done the 800, 1,000, and 15 on these two journals right here. Um, they look pretty good. You know, still gotta clean them up. Spray them with some, I'll clean everything up and then get back after it. Okay, well, let's set this down. Okay, I've got the uh, crank journals polished, or I went over them with 800, then 1,000, then 1,500. You see all the crank journals there? Nothing catches on the fingernail, they're nice and smooth. So I'll clean them up. I'm gonna take some metal polish and polish them up. I just use the same technique, put it on a microfiber rag and polish, polish them with metal polish and get them shiny. And then we'll be, re we'll be done with that. Okay guys, everything is cleaned up nice and tidy on the block. Nice cross hatching, polished crank. Everything's looking good. So now, so now I'm gonna get started cleaning on these pistons. Um, this usual gunk for a high mileage engine. Uh, I'm gonna get these things cleaned up, get the new rings. The rings didn't look too bad, the ones that came off of it. Uh, a couple of, I think on two of them, the oil rings were stuck. But, uh, you know, again, this engine you know, well over 100,000 miles on it. So it was time for new rings anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna get these pistons cleaned up, get the new rings. Then I'll be back when we're getting ready to set the pistons down in the block. Okay, we're getting ready to put the rings on the pistons. I've got the rings laid out here. Here is the part number I'm using. Uh, yeah, this is the rings he brought me. They are, okay, they're marked. You see on the package here, this is for the top groove, second groove, and then all of these are your oil rings here for the third groove. Um, and that would be, and on your piston orientation, top groove, second groove, third groove, your oil rings which is the wide ones here <clears throat> go in the bottom 
this piece goes on, I put this piece on first and then two of these, one on the top and one on the bottom of this goes in that third groove there. And these rings here don't have an orientation as far as top or bottom of the ring. Uh, the number one and number two rings do, they'll be marked with a little dot or they'll say top on the ring because the bottom of the ring is beveled. Uh, what I do is, is I'll just slide it down here, but you can just pull these apart, slide them down and they go down inside that third ring, third groove there, just like so. Take one of these rings, again, slide it down in the bottom underneath this oil ring here, like so. Just slide it underneath there, like that. And get one more of these. And it will go in the top, right down in there. Just work it down. All the way down. And then it goes in the top just like that. So you'll have that center ring sandwiched by two other rings. And then we'll clock the rings later once I get all the, make sure it moves freely. The second ring, you have to be a little more careful with these because these, you can break these if you're not careful with them. And they will be marked. I don't know if you can see that, but right there on that ring, it says top. These go in the second groove. What I do is, is I just put the butt of the ring on there and pull them apart just far enough to slide it down. Just work it down into the second groove, just like that. Make sure it spins around good. It'll have, this one has the word top written right there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but that's what it has. And then I'll just carefully work it down into that top groove. Make sure it spins around good. All of them spin around. And then what I'll do when I clock the rings, I'll start at the bottom, the very bottom ring. The bottom ring, I will turn the very bottom ring. I'll turn to here. The center, I'll turn straight up. The top ring, I turn to here. Then on this center ring here, I'll point it straight down. And on the top ring, I'll point straight up. Just like that. I don't know if you see that, that gap right there is where that ring is. The top ring is pointed straight up. And I'll clock these rings. And then naturally you, have, you want to put some oil on those before you put them down in the cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other seven of them and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got all the piston rings on. Uh, I'll clock them all right before I put them in the, in the block, get them all clocked, get some oil on them. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bearings in. Uh, you see there's a notch here. You just there's a notch on the bearing. There's a notch in the rod there. Just 
get it pushed down. Make sure it's even on both sides. Then in the, in the rod cap, take your other bearing. Again, line up the notch. Just slide it down in there. Make sure it's even or flush. And there you have it. And I'll put some assembly lube on the barren before I put it down on the crank. So I'll get all the barrens done and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the rings, I've got the rings clocked. I've got oil spread around here. Got it worked in. I'm gonna put some assembly lube on here. on both the bearings. <laughs> and now the piston's ready to go down in the hole. A couple of things on these engines, these uh, Chevy engines, the dot goes towards the front and then you have a chamfer you see the chamfer right there on your rod right there on the on this side of the block that chamfer goes towards the front on this side of the block that chamfer faces the rear so that they can go down onto the they'll line up on the crank properly we'll put some oil in here on the inside of the cylinder spread it around Get it nice and coated. Make sure it's all the way around on the cylinder. Okay, got my ring tool tightened down. All my rings pissed, pushed in. Slide this down in there. Like so. Take our dead blow hammer. Make sure the ring tool is down on the block surface all the way around. And then just tap your rod down in this play, uh, piston down into the board. Like so. Go ahead and put the rod cap on. And just finger tighten the bolts. Because they have to be Got the pistons and the rods in. Now I'm going to torque down the uh, rod bolts, rod caps, rod ends, whatever you want to call them. Um, on this engine, these are 3 8 by 24. It's 45 foot pounds. So I'm going to, I've got the torque wrench set to 45 foot pounds, and I'm going to go ahead and torque all these down.
there's one. There's two. Just recheck them. Okay. Put the windage tray on. I got the new oil pump installed. This is a press pressed in. I just beat the old pump with a hammer here while holding this and knock this out. And then I tap this back into place into the new pump. Tighten up your bolts on your windage tray. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the oil pan on this 5.7. One thing you want to do before you put the gasket on is right down here in the corners, there, there, here and here put you some rtv on there uh make sure that'll make sure you get a good seal and it won't leak okay i've got the rtv in all four corners now i'm gonna go ahead and put the gasket down on it Okay, now we're going to set the oil pan down on it. Okay, I've got the oil pan on. Don't forget the two little, uh, I put the two little metal rods that they use to put this down. Then just put your bolts in and just start in the center and cross your way. You know, I'm gonna cross my way back and forth until I get it tightened down. I put a little RTV 
down in the corners here, all four corners to help it seal. And that's where we're at right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the first half of this video here and we'll pick it up with the second half, putting in the lifters and the, putting the heads on, adjusting the valves, all that stuff will be in the second part of the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the link below for the website, uh, t-shirts, hats. Um, thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you next time.